Morning. I'm Kaki Walton. Checking on the Arts is made possible by VIP Memphis Magazine and also by the Memphis Symphony Orchestra. The Memphis Botanic Garden uh, has a new exhibit up, recent works by N.J. Woods, and those pieces are going to be up through the end of the month. And Janet Gilbertson from the Memphis Botanic Garden has come along this morning, has brought with her N.J. Woods, who I haven't talked to since uh, Channel 10's art auction. So it's good to see you again. Thanks for coming Thank by. Well, if people don't know your story, I wanted to talk about um, how you got started because um, because when I was about to, when I was preparing to interview you for the action for the art auction on Channel Ten, uh, Becky Kelly and Amy McDaniel told me some great things about you, and one of them was that uh, number one, you've never taken a lesson; you're self-taught. Mm-hmm. And they told me, and tell me if this is true, that you would actually you just had an urge to paint, and so you would do that. And throw the paintings away, but then watch at the window to see if anybody would come by and pick them up. I would. So that must have been, that sort of validated the talent that you had. You were unsure of yourself, but then that sort of made you feel like, yes, I've got something here. Something. (laughs) But they would, you know, watch for the people to come back to see if they would get anything from the garbage heap, but they never did. But when I would disappear, I'd come back to the window and things would be gone, so... (laughs) Made me feel a little better. <laughs> so uh, you live uh, here in Memphis, but oftentimes you travel out to your grandmother's house to to paint some lovely rural scenes. Yes, I did. Yeah, all of my father's people lived in Missis different cities in Mississippi, mm-hmm. and we would go down there like during the summer months. When school was out, and we spent so many days at my grandmother Sarah's house. She lived in Bahia, and uh, she had a nice little plot of land there, and she had chickens and pigs, and she had berries to pick, and she would wash clothes all the time. We just had a ball. I enjoyed every bit of it. So you uh, you captured those scenes in a really lovely way, and it's it's there's a just a big folk art element to your style, do you think? Yeah, well, I thought so, you know, but I've had people ask, you know, they say things like it's a little bit sophisticated to be folk art mm-hmm. and a little bit um, not so sophisticated to be fine art. Right. So. I'm kind of caught in the middle there somewhere. <laughs> well, sometimes it's good when people can, cannot, when they have trouble categorizing you, sometimes yeah. that can be the best thing. Maybe, yeah, <laughs> maybe I'm in a, a zone of, of, all of my own, I don't know, somewhere <laughs> like that. Well, uh, now, I heard that lately you've been painting bricks, is that true? Yeah. So tell me about that. About three years ago, uh, I lived in an apartment complex, and they had like little straight bricks on the back porch. And uh, years before, I'd gone out to Mary Market, and my sacks would all blow away, and they opened the windows of the doors, and so I said, I'm going to paint the bricks, and, you know, for paperweights. So I took about three, three to five out there to hold down different the variated sizes of bags, and um, I told my daughter, I said, I'm going to go get us some coffee, just, you know, I'll be right back. So when I got back from, I had, when I went to get the coffee, there was a line. The coffee wasn't ready, so we had to wait, so I said, okay, I'll wait a little bit. So when I got back to the booth, there were a line of people. There was a line of people standing there. And I asked my daughter, I said, what, what, what's going on? She says, they all want bricks. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, they do. <laughs> and I said, where are the bricks that I brought? She said, I sold them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, wow. And ever since then, it's what, maybe three, four years ago, they've just been, I, can, I can't keep them. That's so funny the way that happened so accidentally. What mm-hmm. a great story. Well, and speaking of your daughter, too, she's been a big champion of your work, and she actually t- she sort of twisted your arm and said, why don't you donate something to the art she auction did. on Channel 10? That was the first time your work had been seen publicly? Mm-hmm. I think it was, I, I want to say 1994. Mm-hmm. I did a painting called Raz, and uh, I never thought much of my work. It's just something I did to entertain myself, and my daughter Michelle got after me to, to donate it to Channel 10, and I thought, well, you know, they don't really want this. And she said, Mama, you should do it, do it. And so I did. And uh, we sat there to watch the art, art auction, and it was so funny. When when Raz came on, it overbid it, and I, I was thinking, like, <laughs> what's wrong with those people? <laughs> they have good taste in art. <laughs> so, you know, I've done it ever since. But it's been That's wonderful. Nice. So that that kind of made you think, gosh, people want my work. And so you started feeling a little more confident about showing yeah, in public. I did. Well, tell us about the pieces in this exhibit at the Botanic Garden. Are you working on, on new things? Tell us what we're going to see in this exhibit. Well, you know, a lot of the same, you know, the, the rural scenes mm-hmm. and all. But this year I did bring in some new pieces 
things that people don't really know that I do, like abstract pieces. Really? Yeah, and I give them little wacky names, you know, like this particular set that I have out there now is called Festive. And I don't even, I really don't know how to describe it. It's just a lot of different little things going on in there, you know, a lot of, they're kind of pastel-y like. People don't really know that I do this sort of thing, so I kind of wanted to get the public's feel on it. Yeah. How long so. have you have, have have you been dabbling in abstract? Oh, since forever. Mm -hmm. I've always done it, but I just never really got it out to the public. Right. So this is the first time people will be seeing mm -hmm. that kind of work from you. Yeah. That's really exciting. I kind of just want to see, you know, get some response from the uh, people that, you know, go there. And I've already had several people comment about it. So how, what are you working in mostly? I mean, is it acrylic or? It's acrylic. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. Yeah. I've done oil and water, but I always go back to the acrylics. I love them. So abstract must be must be fun for you because I mean it's just it's so freeing. So I mean you freeing. can do anything you want. Absolutely, I love doing it because I you know there's no rhyme or reason for it. I just do it because I because I want to. Just however whatever makes your arm brush that mm -hmm. canvas, and that's what you're going to get. Absolutely. So really free form then. Yeah, that's it. That's really, really cool. How many pieces are, are in the exhibit at the Botanic Garden? I think about 30 mm -hmm. total. Well, Jana Gilbertson joins us from the Botanic Garden, too. So I'm assuming there's, has there been an opening reception or is there one coming up, Jana? We've already had the opening reception, um, but the show is up for the rest of the month and there are plenty of paintings still available. So definitely, you know, come by in the next two weeks and take a look. Now, which which gallery is that going to be hanging in? That's in the main visitor center. Oh, good. So right Both when ends you of the main visitor center. Yep, to your left and right. Lots of room then. Mm -hmm. Good. Just filled Love the place it. up. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to mention that, that, that NJ's work is is on sale. Uh, there Now, a little percentage, though, will go to educational programs at the Memphis Botanic Garden. Right, right. You know, that's very generous that the... Art, when the artists do that and we get a um, percentage of the sales to support our education and our horticulture programs because our staff works really hard mm -hmm. on a somewhat limited budget. Well, that's that's the world of nonprofit yep. for you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, NJ, it's great to talk to you again, and I can't wait to see the abstracts. This Thank is you, really Kathy. exciting. Thank you. Thanks for coming by this morning. Sure. Thank NJ you for Woods, me. recent uh, recent works on exhibit through the end of the month at the Memphis Botanic Garden. If you'd like more information, you can call the garden, and their number is six three six forty one hundred, or you can go to the website, and that's memphisbotanicgarden.com. Checking on the arts is made possible by VIP Memphis Magazine, featuring interviews with Memphis movers and shakers and a glimpse into some of the city's finest homes available at various locations throughout memphis or online at vipmag.com and by the memphis symphony orchestra's 2009-2010 season featuring music to inspire renew and uplift with the grand series at the cannon center sundays with the symphony at gpac the pop series and the fridays on the town series information on new subscriber benefits at 537-2525 or memphissymphony.org